We not only have to learn how to multiply binomials to each other, but we also need to learn how to multiply trinomials to each other. Multiplying trinomials is just like multiplying binomials. We just have three terms. In example one, we have a binomial times a trinomial. So it's kind of like extended FOIL. We multiply the first term in the binomial to each term in the trinomial. So we get 3 times 9, which is 27, x to the third, and then move on to the next term. 3 times 12 is 36x to the second, and then 3x times 16 is 48. and we have to include that x. Now, moving on to the next term. Negative four times nine x squared is negative thirty-six x to the second. Negative four times twelve x is negative 48x, and negative 4 times 16 is negative 64. Notice that when you have many different terms to be multiplying to, you're still using the same pattern, you're only extending it to the last term and each time you change the term you're multiplying each term in your second grouping by, you can list your terms vertically and it's kind of cool because you can then add your columns together and get your final answer. In this case, 27x to the third minus 64. Since plus 36x squared minus 36x squared adds to zero, and positive 48x minus 48x also adds to zero, we don't write zero x squared and zero x, we just leave it alone, drop those terms because they're adding to zero, and write the terms that are left over. Example two has two trinomials. So once again, we're going to go through and multiply the first term to each term in the second trinomial. Eight x to the fourth negative four x to the third minus 12 x squared. Moving on to the next term, we get negative six times four x squared and we get negative 24 x to the third plus 
twelve x squared plus thirty six x. And lastly, one times four x squared will give us positive four x squared, negative two x, and negative six. I can now add all my terms together. Combining like terms, I can just add my columns down and I get eight x to the fourth minus twenty eight x to the third plus four x squared plus thirty four x minus six. Taking a glance at the entire final solution or simplified expression, we notice that there are no like terms left to be combined. And so this is my simplified solution. Likewise with this problem, there are no more like terms to be combined. So this is my simplified expression.